you come over to Amazon and search for Farm Animals Coloring Book, I'll go ahead and select this one. Now, if you scroll down and click on this one right here, you will notice that they have over 2,000 reviews. So this shows that this kind of book is in high demand. So you can see that these are simple coloring book pages you can easily create in less than 30 minutes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this type of coloring book pages using AI. I will walk you through the step-by-step -step method on how to do that. And this is very easy to create and anyone can actually do it. Okay, so obviously the first thing you need to do is to come up with the list of the farm animals you want to use for your coloring book pages. So you could see that I've actually asked ChatGPT to list 20 farm animals I can use for my coloring book pages for kids ages 4 to 8. So you could see that it has actually given me a list of 20 different farm animals I can use for the coloring book. Now the next step is for us to get the test prompt we can use to generate the coloring book pages. Now if you're using the ChatGPT Pro version, you can actually generate your coloring book pages right here in ChatGPT. But if you're using the free version, you cannot generate images with ChatGPT. And don't worry, there are a lot of free AI tools you can use to generate your coloring book pages. So you don't have anything to worry about. So you can see that I went ahead and asked ChatGPT to give me test prompts for each of these animals you listed, which I can use to generate the coloring pages in an AI image generator. So I just gave it, you know, the details on how I want the coloring book pages to be. I asked it to add background elements like farm scene, field, fences and all that, just to make it to look more realistic. As you can see, ChatGPT have gone ahead and generated the test prompt for me. Now the next step is to start generating the coloring pages. And to do that, we're going to be using Canva. And this is very easy to do. So make sure you stick around. Don't leave yet. Stick around to watch this video to the end so that you don't miss out on any important step. And the reason why I want to use Canva is that recently I discovered that you can actually generate your coloring pages in Canva. But that is the reason why I'm creating this video to show you how to actually do that. Okay, so what we have to do next is for us to get the size for our coloring pages. So to do this, we're just going to go back to Amazon and then we're going to check the dimension of the book others are using. So you can see that this person actually used 8.5 by 11 inches. That's what I'm going to be using on this video. So we're going to go back to Canva and then we're going to come over right here where it says custom size. We're going to first of all change the unit to inches and then we're going to put 8.5 by 11 inches and then simply click on create new design. So what you have to do next is to scroll down and come over to this place where it says apps. Come right over here and search for magic media. Then go ahead and select this first option right here. So to generate your coloring pages, you're going to be using graphics. So you select it. You will notice that there are different styles for this graphics. Look at all the styles that are available. Now from my experience, I've noticed that you can generate coloring pages with three of these styles. You can use this mono line, you can use line art, you can use sketch. And the best thing is that they will give you different results. Then you can just go ahead and pick any one that you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three of them to generate coloring pages using the same prompt. So you can actually see, you know, the kind of results each of them can give you. So I'm going to start with line art. So let's go back to ChatGPT. And then this is the first prompt you are going to be using. Now, one more thing I wanted to note is that ChatGPT have given you their prompt, yes, but you can actually edit it a little bit just to get what you want. For example, this place it says, the cow should have a big smile, large eyes, and distinctive black and white patches on its body. You see, I'm going to remove this particular one. I'm not going to put it in the prompt because why would a coloring page have a distinctive black and white patches on its body? Do you understand? So that's why I said you should just go ahead and edit it so that you can get the best result. So after editing it, this is what I finally came up with. I'll go ahead and copy it and go back to Canva and come over right here and then paste it. Remember, I selected line art as my style. I'll go ahead and click generate. But before that, if you're using the free version of Canva, Canva gives you 50 credits per month for generation of your images. But if you're using the pro version, it will give you 500 credits to generate your images. I'll go ahead and click on generate graphics and give you some few seconds to generate it. Okay, so it has finished generating the coloring pages for us. So what I'm going to do is to drag it onto the page so that you can see how it is. And if you don't like what it generated for, you can just go ahead, edit this prompt and regenerate another one. Looking at these images, let me zoom it in a little bit so you can appreciate it. So all you need to do is to go ahead and select the one you prefer. I think I prefer this one. So I'll delete this one. I'll delete this one. I'll also delete this one. So I will just leave only this particular one I prefer. Now, remember we'll use line art to generate it. So I'm going to just go ahead and title it line art so that we can remember that we'll use line art to generate it. 
so that we can now, you know, compare it with other images we are going to generate with other styles. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate another one using the same prompt. But this time around, we're going to use a different style. So I'm just going to click here and then let's select this mono line as our style. And then I'm going to leave the prompt as it is. I'm not going to change it. Let's go ahead and generate again. Now you can see that it has finished generating it for us. Let me bring it to the page so you can see it. So this one was generated with the mono line style. Okay, so these are the ones that were generated with the mono line style. So comparing it with this one that was generated with the line art style, like I prefer the line art style. I don't know about it. Let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. Looking at this, it did not give me a good result. And this one is actually better, but it's not like it's perfect. And this one, I don't like it. I don't like this one too. So let me know in the comment section which one you actually prefer. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete all of them. I don't like any of them that were generated with the mono line style. Okay, so let's now do for the third one. That is the sketch. Let's use the sketch as our style and see what it's going to give us. I'm still going to leave the prompt as it is. I'm not going to change it. And I will just go ahead and click on generate again. Okay, so it has finished generating it for us. And remember for this one, we'll use the sketch as our style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring it over to the page so they can actually see it and appreciate it. Okay, so these are the results that we got when we use the sketch as our style. Let me zoom it in a little bit. So they're not looking bad, but it depends on what you actually want. So it depends on the keys you are targeting. For example, this one that is with line art, I prefer it for keys between ages 3 to 6. Like, they will really appreciate how simple it is. That is the one that we generated with line art. But the one that we generated with, you know, the sketch style, this one actually gave us more intricate details. So it just depends on the... The keys you are targeting for the purpose of this video i'm going to go ahead and leave this one that is generated with line ads so let's go ahead and generate more pages i'll come back to chat gpt and then we're going to come over right here to number two which is chicken i'm going to copy the prompt and go back to canva delete this prompt right here and then go ahead and paste it but remember to edit your prompt so you can get the best result then click generate again okay so you can see that it has finished generating it for us so these are the two that I found that are really, really accurate based on the prompts I gave it. So that's why I put it on the page so you can see it very well. I think they are really very nice and I prefer this one. So all you have to do is to repeat this process I've shown you until you finish generating all your coloring pages. After that, there is one more step remaining. Okay, before I forget, remember that this particular one, I actually used the sketch style to generate it. There is one more step. You can actually take it further and go ahead and add, you know, names of the animals so that kids can actually have more fun coloring it and also identifying you know the animals with their names and to do this i'm going to come over to text so let's go ahead and select heading let me bring it over right here and then increase it so i'll type hen let me increase the size to let's say let's increase it to like maybe to 120 let's see how it looks okay i think it's looking great so let's change this font style to Let's use this one, list pattern. Now, if you look at this text, you see that like it's a block of black text, right? There is no way, you know, kids can actually color this text. So turn it to something that kids can color. All you need to do is come over to those effects. Then we are going to select this hollow. Okay, so you can see that it has turned it into something that kids can actually color. So you can see the thickness is 50. You can decide to increase the thickness if you like, or you can just leave it at 50. I think 50 is great, so I'm going to leave it at 50. So all you need to do is just to try to position it well at the center. And I can even reduce the size. Let's reduce it to like 104. You can do the same for this one, cow. So all you need to do is just copy it. Control C on your keyboard. Or you can just click here to duplicate it and then bring it over here. Then drag it up and then change it to cow. Okay, so once you are done generating your coloring pages, don't forget to add blank page at the back of each of the pages. This will help prevent the ink from bleeding through to the next coloring page when kids are coloring. So another thing you can do is to color it. Let's just put it something like a black color, right? You can just put it black or gray color. Just depends on your preference. Go ahead and do the same for the rest. And once you are done, simply download it as a PDF print. This video is actually getting longer than I expected. But there's no need to worry because I've already described the step-by-step -step method on how to publish your book on Amazon. So just go ahead and click on the video on the screen right now to watch the video. And you can also find the link in the description below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.